Selling beats via email can be difficult. There are a few ways to go about selling beats via email. In this video, I'll be talking about some of these methods and which method I think is the best. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Vivid. The first method to selling beats via email is cold emailing beats to artists. Before sending the email to the artist, ask yourself, what are your intentions with sending beats? Are you sending beats in order to get a sale or are you sending beats in order to get a placement? If you're trying to sell the beat, first make it clear in the email that this beat is for sale along with the price of the beat. Understand that most artists don't like being charged for beats, especially if they didn't go looking for it. So this may not work all the time, especially if the artists don't know who you are and don't know anything about you. What would make them buy something from somebody that they do not know? In order to get the sale, I would recommend to make the email as genuine as possible. And in order to do this, I would recommend to listen to the artists who you're emailing music first before sending the email to understand what type of music they make and see if you genuinely like this artist and like their music. Once you finish listening to the artist's music and decide that you like this artist's music and that you wanna work with them, make the email as genuine as possible. Detail some of the things that you like about their music, some things that you like about them as an artist, and you can learn more about them by either checking out their Instagram or the descriptions of their Spotify. Don't send generic emails such as, yo bro, your songs are fire, let's work, because most people are not gonna respond to that reason being that it sounds spammy and people know when you're being genuine and when you're not being genuine so do not send spammy type emails without no type of contact to artists that you don't know and that you're trying to sell beats to because most of the time they're not even going to open it the second method is offering free downloads in exchange for an email having a free download option on your website or if you use services such as bstars airbit can be really beneficial and lead to more sales let's say an artist is on your website and they hear a beat that they like and they want to work on it but they don't want to buy at this current moment having a free download option is great because the artist can now download the beat a tagged version of the beat of course and work on it now you have the artist's email so with their email you can now offer them a deal or incentive as a first-time buyer in order to get them to buy that beat since the artist downloaded the beat and now you have their email the artist might be more inclined to purchasing that beat because they're probably like i said working on the beat now now they're familiar with who you are because they downloaded the beat from your website so now if you hit them with an offer to buy the beat they'll be more willing to buy it because you have a product that they like and that they want to use if you're a producer that uses b stars to sell beats i'll be showing you guys how to add the free download option to your beats when you're uploading your beats to b stars all right guys so here we are on b stars where you would enter your track information before you upload the beat and if we scroll down to the selling preferences column and to the right hand section you'll see the free download options you can either select no yes with voice tag mp3 version which is what i have selected yes untagged mp3 version which is another option or you can allow anonymous guest downloads and you can require downloaders to capture email only or follow you on social media if you want to for this video and this is what i have for all of my beats i have the yes with voice tag option because if you put the yes untagged mp3 version it just makes no sense to do that because the artist won't come back and buy the beat because they already have the beat you know so it makes no sense for them to come back and buy it to have the voice tag option is definitely the best option in my opinion and to require downloads to capture email only i think emails are way beneficial than a social follow because you now have direct access to this person and you can now email them whenever you have a special offer or a special deal going on or like i said earlier for first time buyers you can have an incentive buy one get one free for first time buyers this is why i think having the capture email option only is best once you have collected the emails of the people who download your beats for free you now can create an email list where you can send them deals now let's say they end up buying the beat that they download for free you now can add them to a new list of buyers because the people who down your beats and the people who bought a beat are two different sets of people and i definitely recommend to keep those emails separate because you might offer a deal to the free downloads that you might not offer to somebody who bought a beat from you prior so you definitely want to make sure that you keep the emails separated if somebody ended up downloading the beat for free and when they end up purchasing the beat the third method is using social media to sell beats via email let's say you're just starting out selling beats and 
and you don't have a website or a B stars or anything like that what you can do is upload your B snippets to social media platforms such as Instagram TikTok, anywhere where artists are located that possibly could be looking for beats now once you have an artist as interested in buying a beat because they heard the snippets on either TikTok or Instagram you now first ask them to send the payment then their email once they send their email you then go ahead and send them the beat but now you have their email and now you can add their email to your buyers list of people who bought beats from you let's say if they don't want to buy the beat but they still want to try it out you can send them a tag version of the beat and put them in the free downloads email list this may take more effort because one you don't have a website so this is manual work so you would have to manually create a list using google excel or microsoft excel whichever you prefer or just writing it down somewhere of the list of emails that you have this was one of the first methods i used when i first started selling beats online what i did was upload snippets of my beats to social media platforms such as instagram and tiktok and then target artists who i think will be best for my beats or who i think would be interested in my beats and once i got an artist to buy a beat from me i would then take their emails and add it to an email list that i created manually but you don't have to create the email list manually you can use email services such as mailchimp aweber if you guys want to see a video about that i have it right here but if you don't want to do that you can do it manually like i did in the beginning but it does take more effort and more work and it doesn't cost you anything the best methods in my opinion are the free download option method because once they download the beat for free in exchange for your email they automatically get the beat sent to their email and you automatically get their email so now you can add it straight to your email list and try to get them to buy the beat from you another method i think is also really great is the snippet method where you upload a beat snippet to social media platforms such as instagram or tiktok because once you have targeted a couple artists that are interested in the beat and they end up buying the beat you then have their emails or if you sent them the free download version you still have their emails which you can then add to an email list and try to turn them into a potential buyer the cold emailing beats to artists can work when it comes to selling beats but it's definitely way more difficult because most artists are not trying to buy beats from people they don't know thank you guys for watching this video please be sure to like comment subscribe 